like, what's going on, guys? It's like 5.20. It's the day after yesterday. Me and Jacob checked up cameras. I didn't do a closing interview. I was just too, you know, I was just too pumped up about those deer. Got trails going all through this grass. Got corn all down here. Got rice bran right here at 20 yards or something like that. I ain't really checked it. I'll just come and put it out. But the reason I'm hunting this particular spot is because this bottom right here is a, it's a, it's a major crossing for these deer. I used to hunt right up there a couple of years ago. I, I, I could see the deer's heads, you know, just walking through the bottom. I, I never hunted it. So, you know, with the wind changing this year, you know, I, I kept getting busted back there. So I was like, no, nah, I got I to get out of here. I quit hunting for a week. It was perfect. It got hot outside. So I'm like, this is a perfect time for you know, to give this place a break. Yeah, we hadn't, uh, that was the first time checking cameras at that place that we got a little bit out of town. And, you know, yeah, as y'all said, we got some, we got some nice size deer on camera. So, you know, I'm hoping, I'm gonna, I got high hopes for that place. But for right now, I'm going to get, I'm going to get quiet. I'm going to get tied up in this tree, you know, keep the eyes peeled. See, you know, see what happens. Hopefully they're gonna come to about 6.30 and give me a good daylight shot where I can get it on film. If not, oh well. You know how it goes. If y'all haven't already done it, y'all make sure to like and subscribe because it's really gonna help us out. So we can get to the point where we can start helping others out that need it, you know? So we get to the point where, where you know, somebody needs a bow, I'll buy them a bow just so they can go hunting. You know, I, I, I'm trying to get to, you know, that, you know, anyways i hope y'all enjoy the video y'all make sure to stay tuned I wonder why they I wonder why they decided to walk up there on the hill. I got another deer walking right here. All right, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> it's the next evening. Seen five deer yesterday evening, right here where I'm at. It looks like they meddled with the uh, rice bran pile a little bit, so. 
Yeah, I see some more trails down here. So they they mosey through here last night. So maybe they maybe they give me a good twenty yard opportunity, you know, so I can get a get an arrow through one of these deer. Hopefully, like I said, it's October eighteenth, five twenty two. Just got set up. I'm hoping these four does come in a little bit closer than they did yesterday. It's like 40, 50 something degrees today, so maybe they'll maybe they'll move a little bit more. But for right now, I'm about to, I'm about to get in here, you know, while well, I'm already in here, I don't know why I said that. I'm about to sit still and get quiet and hope for a shot opportunity. Maybe this evening will be the evening. But, uh, you know, I've probably said it like 10 times throughout the video, ain't no telling. Because I, I make videos and then don't even put them in here because sometimes nothing really happens. You know, if I see deer, I'll put it in here. But if I don't really see deer, that's kind of just like, bleh, you know what I mean. But uh, <clears throat> if you if you enjoy the videos and, you know, you just haven't thought of it, make sure to go like and subscribe because it is free. It is free to do so. All you got to do is hit two buttons and it don't charge you anything. It helps us out, you know. It, it gets us to the point where we can bring better quality videos and m more quantity videos. So, yeah, y'all make sure to go do that. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Y'all make sure to stay tuned. All right, well, it's 612. I'm pretty sure I've just seen them deer cross at like 120 yards up on this high line. I guess they ain't figured out the corn and rice bran situation down here yet. It looks like something messed with the rice bran, but that could have been one deer. I'm not sure if that was a deer that crossed up there a minute ago, but I'm pretty sure it was. I seen the bud end of something going in the, in the uh, grass back there. So I don't know if anything's gonna happen this evening, but we're gonna sit tight. And carry on with the evening, you know, and just see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. All right, well, like I said, you know, we had them deer cross at 120 yards this evening, somewhere in that area. The, the evening before, they was at like 25 yards. I don't know if they've done figured out where I am already, and I've only had to stand up for a day. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they, you know, just haven't figured out the rice brand yet. So I'm going to give them some more time. You know, I'm pretty sure that's what i seen this evening. Like, I'm going to stand on about an 85% and sure thought that that was, a, that was a deer's butt that I seen going in the grass up there. So I'm going to come back tomorrow evening, do a sit, and hopefully we can get one on the ground tomorrow evening. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on guys about 61 degrees October 19th just got set up in here not too long ago winds doing the same thing it was yesterday I seen some deer yesterday but that was way up there and I think it was the last one in the group that I seen the day before them four does that was crossing again up there you know it was three days ago that I put the rice brain out so I don't think all the deers found it yet I'm hoping they either they either come into the rice bran or come to these white oak acorns. That's why I moved down here in this bottom because I, you know, I was up there just in straight pine trees. You know, there's acorns still all, all on the ground. So if you want to get an early deer, you need to adapt to the acorns. You don't want to just sit there and try to hunt rice bran. You know, unless everything around you is just pine trees and there's no source of food for them. But if there's a source of food for them, they're probably going to be there. So yeah, I got these white oak acorns right down here behind me. Got the rice bran at 20 yards. I'm gonna sit tight, get quiet, see what happens. I hope y'all have enjoyed the video so far and I hope y'all enjoyed the rest. Maybe we can get a, uh, a doe down on the ground this evening. Maybe we can get that six point on the ground. 
you know, that'd be nice. I don't know if, I don't know if we're going to see him until rut, but, you know, it'd be nice. But, yeah, we're going to get tight and get quiet. Like I said, hope y'all enjoy the video. Y'all stay tuned.
Well, right here, I was really in a tight spot. I, I couldn't move the camera to try to get y'all the angle on the doe. She was standing in the woods, stomping her feet. She seen me the first time. She turned around, ran back in the woods, and she couldn't figure out what I was. She couldn't figure out where I was. You know, she just lost. Like, she still had the thought, but she was like, where did it go? She stood there for, you know, two, three minutes, stomping her feet, and she turned around and came right back out. I feel like here she was like trying to find me or she's seen me out the corner of her eye or something. She's still trying to figure me out. I haven't moved. She's been here for 10 minutes and nothing's really happened. You know, I'm not moving. She just sees the silhouette in the tree. I thought I had better coverage, but I guess I didn't. I think she's checking me out right here, but she decides that everything's all good and she goes to grazing. Well, it was a bad shot, you know, she hit the ground. I'm still eating up over the situation, so I just decided to keep this this part of the clip out of it. I decided to put another arrow in her. I made a good, perfect shot on her, you know. It just happens like that sometimes, but, you know, we'll continue on with the clip. She's down. I mean, she's down, but I hit her bad. I think she just passed. I went ahead and put another arrow in her just because I didn't, I hated, I hated to see that. Like nothing, you know, just nothing about, you know, being just, you know, you, you want to, you want to kill to be as quick as possible. Let me get down real quick, make sure she's, she's gone. Oh, well, I just got down here with her. I don't know if y'all seen or not, but I went ahead and put another arrow in her after she got on the ground and started squalling, bawling everywhere. I think the second shot really really did it man I hate that man I'm, I'm happy I got the deer but man she's gone now though so she's gone I just hated she had to go through that. I made a terrible shot. I was shaking like a leaf. I'm not gonna lie when I tell you anything. I pulled up. 
pulled so bad. I should have I should have calmed down first. I pulled back and she heard the arrow slide in the whisker biscuit. And I was mid I was mid draw, so I, I was shaking up. I was like, I, like she's she's about to blow, you know. I, I just I just seen her looking at me. I didn't know what to do. I finished my draw. I put it on her and I shot, and it went high. I tell y'all right now, bow hunting is stressful sometimes. Even without seeing a deer, seeing deer not getting a kill. And then even sometimes when you get the kill, you're still frustrated with yourself. This is my first kill with my compound. I'm not, I'm not entirely happy with it at all. I hate to see any animal suffer. I'm not I'm not out here hunting because I hate deer. You know. I love these animals. That's why, you know, that's why we come out here and we make food plots for them and all that good stuff. I'm just shaking up right now. I'm so shaking up right now. All right, well, it didn't really go as I wanted it to, but even though it did in some ways, you know, I got the deer on the down, but it, it just wasn't a very good shot placement. You know, she come in right at first, as y'all seen, and she turned, she, I, I know she seen me up there, but she couldn't really, you know, just tell what I was at first. And she turned around, she went back in the woods. I couldn't get the, you know, the camera on her because she turned around and looked at me again. I just didn't want to move, so I just stayed still. She stood there for a second, come back in, and, she was sitting there eating corn and I drew back and my arrow made some noise on the whisker biscuit and she looked up at me. And I, I was about mid draw. Y'all see that on the video too. I got another I got another uh camera angle going on up there, but she just caught me mid draw. She looked right up at me. I slowly finished my draw and I was shaking because I you know I figured she was about to blow or something or whatnot. You know, I put the, I put a shot on her, she hit the ground, you know. I put one more shot in her and she she was done after that. But, I mean, yeah, it all came together after, what, three evenings, I think it said? Put the corn out three days ago, I think? Yeah. Yeah, I've been hunting not that, you know. I know there was deer in the area, but it is, it's probably one of the same deer that's been spooking, spooking on me back there, you know what I mean? Probably is. So, I got in a different spot, got different wind, got all that good mess going, got it done. She about a good 110 pounds, I'd say. Yeah, she thick, but she ain't like thick, thick. Yeah, she gonna eat good. Oh yeah, she gonna eat good. Fresh backstrap. May do a uh, clean and cook. May do a a clean and cook. I, I don't know From how, field I, I don't to table. Know if you really call this a catch, cook clean. You know no, it'd be a kill. Really catch. Kill clean cook. But it's not the CCC. No. We'll just do a clean and cook. You know what I mean? Get some. Probably get that tenderloin going. See what, see what we can get going with that. Maybe do some backstrap steaks. You know, there ain't no telling what we're going to do. But uh, we about to get her loaded up. Go get her taken care of. All that good mess. And we'll get back with y'all. Y'all stay tuned. All right, well, me and Jacob just got out of the stand. We're starting a new little video from, you know, me and Alex hunting to me and him hunting this new place. We got all these big bucks on. But I'm, I, I forgot to close the doe video out so i'm here doing that now you know don't matter when i'm doing it as long as i'm doing it all right anyways you know still like i said you know right after i got down out of the stand it, it just wasn't a shot that i wanted i thought that i pulled but i went back and watched the video and she ducked what'd you say about four or five inches there? probably so she ducked just a little bit I was calm as ever but after that arrow slid on this whisker biscuit here and made that noise she looked up at me i was like well I got shaky, but uh, I'm glad I got it done. You know, I got redemption back there. First compound kill with the bear. I'm happy about that, you know what I mean? Anyways, we're about to get on the road. We just got through hunting, like we said. Got some good pictures of some deer down here. Hopefully it's gonna happen. I hope it happens down here. It will. 
I hope it happens down here, boy. There's no hunting on the other side oh, of us. Yeah. There, there's nothing going on that way. No hunting. You come down the road, and there's a sign that says no hunting down that down that way. So, yeah. We're good. That Oh, yeah, by the way, let me y'all Louisiana hunters down south. I know the weather's still changing. That doe I killed. She's been rubbing her legs when she's peeing. It's something's going on in the woods. Y'all better get ready. I'm not saying anything's happening, you know, 100% right now. I give about a 25, 30%, wouldn't you say, you know? Yeah. I mean, we got deer. We got mature. That was, we have pictures of mature deer sitting back there. That's only young buck activity when they're sitting there, you know, clanking their horns together and just playing. So, I mean, something, they get a little frisky going on. I think this next cold front may kick them off. We need a cold front to stay cold. We don't need a cold front and then get hot. It's going to throw them back off. So as soon as it gets cold, y'all better get ready to get in the woods. Get the mock scrapes up. Get all that stuff going. Get your black racks, your, your horns out from your grandpa's shed, wherever you use. Get all that stuff going because it's, 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 it's about to get going. But, you know, we better get on the road like I said a minute ago. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all make sure to like and subscribe because it's going to help us out. And it's free. Jacob will tell you it's free. Anybody that you ask will tell you that it's free to hit the like subscribe button until we get one of them subscriber things. We need, you know, that's that's another thing. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that way long in the future, hopefully, when we get to that point. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.